family happy tuesday okay y'all so welcome back to my channel and before i go any further guys please like share and subscribe to my videos so that i can expand my platform welcome back to another episode of talk about it tuesday right talk about it tuesday is a segment that i created for moms um to be able to talk about like their lives as mom and just yeah, talk about their motherhood journeys. It was intended to create a safe space where moms could come on, they could boast about being moms, and they can also talk about the perils that comes with being a parent and embarking on the journey because y'all motherhood is a journey all its own and all of our journeys look very different. Today, I'm going to interview a young lady, Tamara, and she is exactly why I created Talk About It Tuesday because sometimes you just need a safe space to talk about life, right? And talk about the, the challenges that you may have encountered during life and on this motherhood journey. So give me a second. Let me admit her. Hey, Tamara. Hold on one second, guys. I'm not sure she can hear me. Oh, wait. I think it hung her up. Let's see. Hold on one second. Oh, yeah, hey, Tamara. Hey, baby Michael. So, listen. I was just giving a brief overview. So, please introduce yourself. Tell us your name and tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Tamara Neely. I am 28 years old, and I like to sing. And we see that little baby in your arm, so you're a first-time mom, right? Yeah, first-time mom. <laughs> Congratulations on your little baby, Michael. So, Tamara, I wanted to, I've personally met you, and I've talked to your amazing family, and I have had the privilege of just really getting to sit down and work with you guys one-on-one, -on -one, right? And so, getting to meet you, I think that you are an amazing mom right? And I think that you have a very sweet spirit. So I'm very grateful for the opportunity that I have to meet you and your family. Um, today, I do a segment on my channel. It's called Talk About It Tuesdays. And the point of Talk About It Tuesday is just to create a safe space for moms to talk about their motherhood journey, no matter how new or mature they are in their journey, right? All of the pros right. and the cons and the exciting things that motherhood has brought. Can you tell us a little bit about where you are right now in your motherhood journey as it relates to your housing situation? Uh, well, currently right now, um, I used to be in a, um, well, I used to be living in a motel for like a month, but then um, we moved out and we had a car that wasn't working and we was living in there for maybe like three days and it wasn't running. And we was like, you know, um, in that current situation. And, and it was, it was hard because, you know, being a first time mom, you know, it's different because, you know, I don't, this is my first child I had and it was like scary to think, oh, I, I had to be in that situation because be homeless, you know, in a car for a couple of days with him and my boyfriend. Right. And so, whew, girl, that that definitely is a lot while trying to deal with having a baby because your body is going through changes of its own and, you mm -hmm. know, just adapting to life as it is. Can you share with us some of the emotional challenges that you've experienced as a new mom, especially dealing with homelessness? Uh, well, yeah, I, um, well, when I gave birth, that was, you know, scary, you know, to like have a, a baby, you know, and be, be in my situation where I, you know, I don't know where I'm going to be at. And then like, uh, learning how to take care of, a a newborn baby, you know, this is like new to me, new to him. So it's like different because it's scary for both of us because I don't know what I'm doing. 
And I mean, it's just different because, you know, just the have, ha you know, just to have a baby and to, um, just to figure out where I'm going to put my head or, you know, to make sure I have money for him or diapers or how to feed him, how to feed my own self. And it's like, that was like the most challenge for me just to make sure, you know, everybody was straight. I do want to say this to you because I just heard you say, I don't know what I'm doing. Listen, that's fair, Tamara. This is your first time ever having a baby. You are very new to this journey, right? And I've watched mm -hmm. you with him. You are very attentive to him. And so please, please, please give yourself some credit because none of us are like, none of us come out knowing exactly what we're supposed to be doing, right? It's just like a new job. You have to be trained to know what to do, right? What are some of the most pressing obstacles that you've encountered as a homeless mom? And how, how have you uh, just overcome them? Like, what have you done to help you to overcome them? Like when you say that, like, um, you know, because my learned disability, I, like, how, like, how would you? Because I'm, I'm still not understanding that. Okay, the so question. let me. No, that's okay. I'll ask it very differently. And wait a minute, to compile being a mom, being homeless, and having disabilities, right? That's a lot in itself. So my question is, what do you do to help you daily in, you know, kind of de-stress and still provide for yourself and your baby? Mm, that is a good question. Uh, and if you don't have the answer to it or you have not established your that point, if you are not at that point yet, it's okay to say I'm not there yet. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I feel like I'm like in the middle, like I'm there, but I'm not like, you know, there yet. But I feel like I'm getting there, you know. That's a good way but to put it. I'm not there. Yeah, I want to be. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Well, that is a very good way to put it. I'm not there yet, right? And that's why it's a transition. Because mm -hmm. throughout life, you will transition in right now. Yes, you're facing homelessness, but that's not where you're going to be forever, right? You are definitely, right. it gets better. It's definitely going to get greater. Um, describe your day-to-day -day typical activities as a homeless mom with your baby. Hmm. Like, are you talking about before, like when they were like before when I was in the car or? Yeah. Oh, whichever, however you want to highlight it. Like, what is your day to day activities like? Um, well, whenever we was like in the car, we used to like just, you know, walk to Walmart and, you know, just to get like food or like, you know, to use the bathroom or you know, just to freshen up or, you know, just to put water, I, I, you know, to put water on our faces and then walk back to the car or to make sure, you know, we got something to eat and make sure we use the bathroom. Um, and then just to make sure he ate and, and then, you know, just to sleep in the car to make sure we was all, you know, comfortable in there. As comfortable as you can, because I can imagine sleeping in the car with a family is not comfortable. What are some yeah. things... <laughs> Wait, say it again. I'm you. Yeah, um, in that car, it was very cramped. Like three people in a seat, very cramped. I believe that. What are some What are some needs that you and your family need? What are some things that you and your family need to help you at this time? Like, what could you benefit from? I would say, like, prayer, you know, um, there ain't nothing wrong with, you know, somebody praying or, you know, to give good advice like you, you know, you gave us advice or how you just, you know, helped us with um, just, you know, for these past couple of days. So one of the things that you guys could use help with is help with housing resources. Um, yeah, and I know that you said you have some clothes for baby Michael, but could you benefit from having like more clothes for baby Michael and more clothes for yourself and more clothes for Michael's Michael the second, right? Michael Jr. Dad, Michael. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, definitely that, you know, anything helps. Okay. Okay. And then what do you feel like your strengths are right now? What motivates you on a daily basis to just keep going? Well, um, my son, yeah. I, yeah. And um, just me having hope to, you know, keep going day by day, you know, that, you know, both of that helps me, you know, um, it just keeps me, giving me hope that I can like, well, if, you know, if he's all right, I know I'm going to be all right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then that, that is a very good way to look at it. And I think all of us, as all of us moms out there, I think in a lot of aspects, we can relate to you because on so many different levels, as moms, our children definitely are a motivator for us. I know for me, because I got six and I'm going to tell you that each one of them motivate me in a very different way. Right. And being a seasoned mom of six, I think daily it is definitely a, a new challenge, a new challenge of how do I tackle this day and be the most successful so that I can be the most productive for these guys and myself, right? Have you found any regimens to help you with like self-care? Because um, at this time, you know, you're a new mom. Self-care is definitely important. Have you found any things that you enjoy doing that helps you to kind of stay grounded? Yeah, I mean, in a way, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm still working on that too, but yeah, I mean, I'm still trying to find a way to do that as well. But I, I mean, I have maybe just one, you know, but I'm still working on that as well. And you said you like to sing. Are you a really good singer? Oh, yeah. I, I could say I used to be in chorus like in high school. Yeah, that's my thing that helped me be positive is to, you know, sing. But yeah, I, I, I love to sing. What? A, OK, sing one of your favorite songs for us. Just give us a little bit of it to help you to continue to keep going, like because it is your motivating factor. Uh, you said say uh, what you say uh, say any song? Yeah, whatever, whatever your favorite song is. It can be whatever you whatever you sing to help you keep going. Whatever you sing that you find solace in. So you gonna put me on the spot? Listen, listen. <laughs> I have faith in you. <laughs> um, um, hmm. Okay. You got this, girl. You're right. You're right. I just I, I'm I'm thinking of a song. I just I my mouth is like. Um, <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to think of a song. I, I have a gospel song in my head, but I can't think of the first word to it. What is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Close my eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, ooh, this is like stage right. Okay. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> There's a voice that cries out in the silence, searching the heart that is desperate, loving for a child that will give them their all, give it all. He wants it all. He says, love me, love me with your whole heart. He wants it all today. Serve me. Serve me with your life now. He wants it all today. Bow down. Let go of your idols. He wants it all today. He wants it all today. He wants it all today. So give it all. Amen.
<laughs> Good job. <laughs> Listen, I'm glad that you were still able to smile, right? I'm glad that you are able to laugh through this. I'm glad that you have your baby as a motivating factor to keep going. Tamara, please know that where you are, right, is not where you will always mm-hmm. be, right? What's right. happening now, right? It only, because, you know, where you are, it's only going to get better. So I hope that you continue to be encouraged. I hope that you continue to hold on to your faith. I hope that you continue to grow along your journey. And please know that in any way that I can be of assistance, right? I will continue to support you in the best way that I can. And I will continue to assist you in the best way that I can. And family, you heard this young lady's story. You see that her and her family now are currently in a hotel. You guys, your hotel is paid through tomorrow, correct? And yes. Okay. And one of the things is like, they have a baby, right? We all have fallen down. And just because you didn't scuff your knees when you fell doesn't mean that you did not fall. We all, at some point along our journey, need support. This young lady is a new mom. Her baby is one month old and she is in transition. They are currently homeless and they definitely, definitely, definitely can use the help. I am going to post a GoFundMe link at the in the description at the bottom of this video. But as she said, if nothing else, they definitely need prayers, right? Prayers. And one thing that I know about God is I know that he is a prayer answering God, right? And I know that he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ask or think because that's what this word says. Next, I know that we're two or more gathered. And in the name of Jesus, Tamara and I are touching and agreeing that people who can help, even if it's just with prayers, will see this video and they will have a heart to give to help them to transition from their hotel to a more stable living environment. So she isn't carrying the weight of being a mom that is currently homeless and trying to heal and find just find herself. In this entire process, because we all know becoming a mom is a transition all its own, but becoming a mom with challenging obstacles um, that you're being faced with is not an easy transition. And my hope and my goal, and I know Tamara's hope and goal is to find a place of stability so that her and her baby could have a place to lay their head. That's, that seems like something very simple. And that's something she said for her and her baby to have a place to lay their head. So please, 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 if you can donate and help this family to, you know, just find a place to live. Tamara, again, thank you for being here with us. Peace, love, and blessings to you all. Thank you for any support because any support means a lot. Bye.